Hi everyone, this is Chanel here from the Heart and Soul with your weekly Coracle card reading for February 3rd through the 9th, 2014. I wanted to start today by telling you about, um, for the month of February, our family here has decided to give back. Um, instead of buying gifts for people for Valentine's Day, we're raising money for different um, charities that touch our heart. So my children are working on something that's kid-friendly for them. For me, I have decided to do mini oracle card readings, so if you want your own video like this, um, for the month of February, it's $30, and all the money is going to Angie's Fund, which is a scholarship fund for women who can't afford to do yoga teacher training. Um, so that they can be able to do it. And I know that might sound like a really odd thing to want to give back to, but it gives someone um, a job opportunity, a career possibly, doing something that they absolutely love. And I think it is so important to do those things that you love. And it is not a cheap adventure. And so it is something that, you know, someone who doesn't have a lot of extra money, a single mom like me, um, might not be able to afford to do. So I'd like to give somebody that opportunity opportunity um, or help someone give you give someone that opportunity so if you would like to help me give back um, and give back yourself this month and want to get your own mini oracle card reading your own mini video um, shoot me an email fill out a contact form on my web page and I will set you all up for today though our cards are the Saints and Angels deck by Doreen Virtue and we're going to pull four cards today um, to get a message to share with you about the energy for the upcoming week. So that's card one, two, three, hmm. So there's the four cards. Let's see what they have to say. All right. Sign from above, guardian angel. Our second card is speak your truth, Saint Bernadette. Healthful eating, Saint Raphael the Archangel. And vision, guardian angel. It's very interesting we had two guardian angels here this week. Vision and sign. <clears throat> I'm just, I really get the impression that as we ask for what we need to be seen, what we need in our lives this week, that they will be shown to us. I think a lot of people are given signs and they're not really aware of them because sometimes they're very small. It's as simple as, um, as a friend was telling me yesterday, a cardinal. That is a warning sign for her. And, you know, usually something um, happens after they she sees a cardinal. Um, you know, it's a feather crossing your path, telling you that someone is watching over you, an angel. The signs come. We just need to ask for them. I really feel like this week is about embracing our vision of the future and of what we want and um, speaking our truth about who we are, what we want to be, what we want in our life. Um, and I find interesting healthy eating. And I've said this before that I feel like there's a lot of people that energetically since 2014 has hit and even sometime before that have really been affected by our healthy eating. Um, you know, by eating junk, we really feel drained. So I do think this is about eating healthy, but I also feel like this is really about the energy of um, that we have surrounding us, that we need that healthy energy, our healthy outlook. I really just feel like this, this week is about embracing this new energy. We entered into the year of the wooden horse this week. Um, with Chinese New Year's, so happy Chinese New Year's to all those out there celebrating. Um, the snake was about shedding our skin, shedding our past, shedding, whereas the horse is about forward motion. Um, I keep on joking that it's our giddy up year. So I feel like we're really supposed to embrace that and embrace what we want in this year. Ask for signs from above um, about what you need. Um, ask about the truth, what, what is going to serve you the best, what is going to fulfill you, what is going to make you happy. 
I feel that the energy this week has been a shift. There's been a lot of issues, it feels like, in the past week with communication and um, illness and flu bugs going around again. And it just feels like this week is about kind of shedding all those things. Um, and they all had to happen for us to have a more positive week this week. To shed all the illness and the the energy that no longer serves us. Really finding our voice, finding our truth, and setting us free with that. Setting us forward, moving into the path that we really want to walk in this lifetime. So ask for visions, ask for signs, ask to see the truth in what is being put before you this week. There you go. The angels have spoken. It feels like a bit of a... You know, I, I would like to say calmer week, but I feel like this week is about stepping up as well. So it feels like a stronger energy this week and an empowering energy this week. So again, if you would like to help me give back um, and would like your own mini oracle card reading, again, it's $30 and all the proceeds go to Angie's Fund. Um, the website is on the end of this video that you can go to and there will be more information posted later today about that on the website. Um, so check us out uh, for the weekly oracle card reading each week on Facebook or on my website at www.fromtheheartandsoul.com. From my heart and soul, we'll see you next week.